lower the nose a little bit. Air traffic, one, one, two, Hold a little three, bit of right, 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 right. So try and keep the wings level with your hand. Great. And then look down at the ball. Right there, see the ball's a little out to the right. So now look outside, add a couple more pounds of pressure on your right foot to keep the wings level. Someone's coming on the 17 approach. So. Okay. Go ahead, lower your nose a little bit. Traffic 630, Quebec, turning okay. left base, 35. And now we're going to turn over there. So twist, I'll twist your heading bug for you. Go ahead and twist or turn uh, 45 degrees to the left. Aurora Traffic, Skyhawk 2 Jet Victor is on the left 45 departure leg from 35 through 1100. That uh, will shortly be southwest bound Aurora State. Good, just fly with your finger. Aurora Traffic, Spiral totally trimmed out, so be able to take your left hand off the controls and uh, so the nose won't move. I know we're fishing around for rudder pressures, we'll work on that here in a bit. But go ahead, just try and get the airplane trimmed up in the pitch axis. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, I have that traffic on one seven in sight. Aurora traffic six three zero eight Quebec is final three five stop go Aurora. Great. How's it feel, man? Better. Awesome. A lot of pressure on it. it yeah, yeah. Always. Yeah. Let the airplane do all the work. work. Yep. Chris must have had a big dinner last night or something, I don't know. Yeah. And a 4-4, four, four, uh, Sorry. two Delta Sierra. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah. Twist your heading bug to 2-1-0. So twist it left to 2-1-0. Uh, have you ever thought of uh, asking the airport manager if we can get an actual compass rose painted here? It would be a nice addition. Yeah, there used to be one so we raise the left wing because we're going to turn anyway, left, we, get a few we look for traffic, and, and then we nice say clear left. And clear left. Clear left. Great. And then we focus out here, and we roll the, disregard that noise. Uh, that's just the autopilot. Great. And then we keep turning to the left. Increase bank a little bit more, a little bit more left bank. Perfect. Hold the pitch right there. Really nice job. Okay, now keep that nose up. Yeah, see how the nose dropped. There you go. Okay, let's level the wings here. Okay. Now what I'd like you to do here is just a little bit of review from last time while we're working our way out to the uh, practice area. Traffic, uh, the just go ahead and raise and lower the nose a little bit while looking outside out front. Could you see yeah, what traffic uh, out? One o'clock, a little low. Left Two o'clock. Traffic in sight, thanks. Okay, good. Try and make as small movements as you can. Yeah, I got you now on the left downwind. Experimental 112 Victor Alpha taking the active runway 35. Okay. Now do the same thing, departure. raising and lowering your nose by looking out your left window and noticing the relationship of the wing. Good. Now look inside doing the same thing by watching the attitude indicator. So push the nose down a little bit. Traffic inside up there. Aurora traffic, Skyhawk, 2 jet victors, 4 to the west, uh, southwest bound through 2900, last call, Aurora State. Excellent. So we'll climb and maintain 3,500 feet. Uh, when we get to about 3,200, I'll have the controls to demonstrate again how to level off and maintain that altitude. It's a little harder than you may think. Okay, may I have the controls, please? You have the controls. I have the controls. Thank you. Cool. So feel free to stay on them with me. Just don't change anything I'm doing. All right, so again, we're going to climb to 3,500 feet. Yep. I will start leveling off Aurora about 50 feet below our altitude. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's looking out for traffic. All right, we're approaching our level off altitude. Okay, so what I'm doing is looking out front. Look at my thumb here. I'm adding very little pressure. See how slowly the nose is coming down? Now, as I accelerate, I will need to increase the pressure on my thumb, okay? which means I need to do something with the trim, right? Yep. I'm just going to give it a rough trim. Now I'm going to come back to the power. 
nose at about 2300 or so. But I look out front, I don't want the nose to change. Very common, watch what I do here with the nose. Very common to let the nose kind of creep up like that. See, it's a very slight movement, but it'll get you. See, it's only about 200 feet per minute climb. Yeah. So I do is I look back here, I put the horizon right about there. Also, I look out the wing. See how the bottom of the wing is more or less parallel with the yeah. ground? Notice the altimeter is not trending either way, but I'm still holding pressure on my thumb. Yep. Trim always comes last. So, I look out front, I add a little bit of trim, I take off my thumb. Oops, nose is coming up very, very slightly. So, I use my thumb to push the nose back down. And then I trip, on the ramp, are you? and there we go, the nose isn't moving, we're so that's how we hold our own get out of your way. Okay. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go through our cruise checklist, then we'll get going with maneuvers here. So fuel on both, shot off in, trim is set, I still have control. Make sure we'll leave it rich, because uh, we're not very high today. Throttle is set. Um, and then lights, we can turn our taxi light off, please. Great, moving up engine gauges, they all look good. Uh, we're set, we're a little off on our heading, a little high. All right, so I'm going to lead us through some exercises, okay? I'm going to reduce the throttle a little bit. Uh, we also do clearing turns. We do clearing turns before maneuvers. So let's clear left. Clear left. Okay, notice I look out front. I add a little bit of left rudder and a little bit of left aileron. Rudder comes after aileron because there's no need for rudder unless the ailerons are moving or unless our pitch is changing as well. But we'll talk about that more on the ground. Okay, we're looking for traffic every way. Uh, where the sun is right now, it's not a... Uh, or during like midday, you can also look for shadows on the ground. That's a really great way to look for traffic. Because if we find our shadow and then we find another shadow that's our neighbor, that's not a good thing. So clear right. And I'll set the heading bug to about south. The first thing we're going to do is what's called a stability demo. Uh, we didn't do this last time, and what I want you to see is how stable the airplane is in its three axes, okay? So I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the nose and then let go, and we want to see if the oscillations stay the same magnitude, if they get larger, or if they get smaller. Okay. It should get smaller, right? It should, uh, but let's watch outside, okay? So I'm going to raise the nose. And then I'm going to let go. Okay, so that's about how high the nose went there. Let's see how low the nose goes, then we'll see how high it goes up next time. Okay, so it'll eventually come back up on its own. Notice I'm not touching a darn thing. Okay, so the nose will come up on its own, but let's see how high it goes up. Before it starts going down. Not as high. Not as high. Good, so we should expect it to not go as low on this next time. I'll let it go low and then I'll recover. Notice we're right at our altitude that we started. So it, 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 the conservation of energy, it should hold about the same. Headed to the airport. All right, so we call that positive stability in the pitch axis. In other words, it's going to get better with pitch, okay? All right, so then I'll recover here. Now I'll do yaw and bank, and uh, then we'll see. Then I'll, I'll give it to you. So let's clear left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear left. So we roll into a 30-degree bank to the left, and then we take our hand off the controls. Does the airplane continue to bank? Does it stop banking, or does it want to roll back to level? Continue yeah, very, very slightly. But watch this. When it gets more airspeed, right now, it's going to slightly recover, but not very much. It pretty much stays right there between 20 and 30 degrees of bank. So it's actually neutral and very slightly on the negative side of neutral stability. Okay, so that's bank. A little bit different on the right side. Okay, now we're going to do yaw. Uh, this will this will feel a little uncomfortable for you, but what I'm going to do is just like jab one rudder, then let go, and we're going to see what the airplane does, okay? So okay. let's look out front of Mount Hood. There's a reason I chose that. So we can see yaw quickly. Here we go. Okay, what do you think about the stability with the yaw? It's good. 
good. It's very positive. Yeah. It, it goes back to neutral very quickly. Yeah. So yaw is the most positive, pitch second, and then roll. Okay, so why don't you have the controls, please? I have the controls. Okay, control. let's okay, do the same the part thing. Part so uh, raise the nose up, the pass uh, the peak of Mount Hood towards that contrail over there. Back go. Yep, back go. Now let's just see what happens. We're going to let it be for, I don't know, 20 seconds or so. As it gets more speed, all lifting surfaces on the airplane get more energy. Therefore, they're like, yay, we can trade this energy for altitude, and it starts to pick back up again. And the opposite is true up here. As it loses airspeed, it will lose energy and start to lower the nose. Uh, By the way, that's for a specific trim setting. If the trim is off, remember, it'll push the nose down. What it, what it will do is oscillate until it finds its equilibrium. So, all right, go ahead and recover here. Okay, let's do a turn to the right here. So go ahead and raise your right wing, please. Okay, we're Very clear right. right. Excellent. So we look out front, we add some right aileron, and then add about three pounds of pressure on the right foot. As we do that, then we add just a couple pounds of back pressure on the yoke to hold altitude. Uh, lower the nose very slightly. We're climbing. Perfect. That's all you need to do. Uh, the nose actually dropping a little bit. So we're we'll right, the right, nose back up. Great. Hold it. Right there. Hold north. the nose right there. At 1,200 feet. So keep the turn coming. Downwind for in, runway three, in a five, turn, four, we establish pitch by whether or not the horizon is climbing or descending on the glare shield. So go ahead and do that. Keep the turn four, going. Traffic. Hold one, one, back a little bit. Turning left face for runway three. See how the horizon four, descends five, on the yeah. glare shield? Yeah. Okay, now push forward and watch the horizon cut up on the horizon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and roll wings level, please. A little left rudder to help out. Good. All right, now uh, what we're going to do is do the roll stability. So it's clear left. Clear yeah. left. Okay, and you roll into a 30 degree yeah, bank while looking out front. Turn final runway 35 Aurora. And lock that bank right there, then let go. And let's just see what happens. Pretty much stays there, right? It'll change a little bit, but it more or less stays there. It's recovering a little bit there as well. Okay, go ahead, roll wings level. So again, uh, and it kind of depends on the day, whether it's slightly negative or slightly positive, but it's more or less neutral. All right, so I did left rudder last time, so why don't you do right rudder this time? So smoothly push in full right rudder and let go. Notice your shoulders and your rear end kind of yeah. shift a little bit, and then they stop, okay, traffic. and it's done. Please. There's no more movement in the yaw. Okay, go ahead and roll the wings up. Thank you. All right, so what is, does that uh, give you any more confidence in the airplane that, you know, a lot of people think, ah, the airplane wants to go crazy. Some airplanes do, but uh, this is a very positively stable airplane, so yeah. it wants to go back to normal. All right, ready to move on? Yep. Awesome. Nice job. May I have the controls, please? You have the controls. I have the controls. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to work a little bit more on rudders here. So this is this is going to feel a little strange as well. What I'm going to do is keep the wings level, but add full left rudder. Did we do this one last time? I think so. Okay, we'll, we'll try it again here. So clear left. Entering left. Clear left. Okay, so I keep the wings level, but I smoothly add full left rudder. Go ahead and look down at the yoke position, see how far the yoke is to the right. Go ahead and look out at your aileron as well as my aileron. See what it's doing out there. Look at the ball as well. Ball's way out. Chris is like slammed against the door back there. <laughs> okay, now here's the tricky part is I'm going to transition to the other side trying to keep the wings level. Don't worry, traffic 112 Victor Alpha taking the active runway 35 will be a closed pattern departure Aurora. Okay, look at your aileron, look at mine. Look at the position of the yoke, look at the ball. Feel it in your shoulders as well. Make the correlation between your shoulders and the ball. Okay, so why don't you have the controls? I have the controls. You have the controls, go ahead, do that. Same thing, left or right first, doesn't matter. Try and keep the wings level. Try and keep the nose right there as well. You have a bit farther to go on the right rudder. A little bit more. A little bit more. 
There you go, that's all you got on the right rudder. We'll transition when we're pointing at Mount St. Helens over there. You can raise your right wing just a little bit. There you go. Okay, now transition to the other side. Try and keep the wings totally level. Take a look out your wing, take a look out my wing, keep the amount of air under the wing the same. That means the wings are level. So move your head left and right. Roar traffic helicopter, 7526 Sierra. Okay, and bring or neutralize the rudders. Excellent. Good job. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is just like on the ground, add a little bit of left, add a little bit of right. Just try and notice the smallest movement looking outside. Do the same thing looking out your window and mine. Okay. Now look in here. This doesn't tell you a darn thing about which way the nose is going, right? But the heading indicator does. You guys can go around us when you're and the ball will help a little bit as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, turn to the right, please. So raise the right wing. Okay, go ahead and turn to the right. Where the right? So, say again. Get traffic about 8 o'clock. I can't. Roger. So which way he's going yet? Yeah. He's coming left. this way. He's just a head high to us. Roger. Now coming through our 6 o'clock. And go ahead and roll the wings level here, and then we'll raise the right wing, and we'll see if we can see traffic over there. Uh, five o'clock. Go ahead and keep turning. Uh, we'll turn towards Mount Jeff, which is uh, the one off our right wing there. Temporary traffic one one two Victor Alpha is left good. down. Good wing job holding just your fingertips on the control. That's very good. And unfortunately, this is a quick flight today, um, but I just want to show you one last thing before we go in. Actually, two last things. Uh, the, there's an infinite amount of combinations of pitch and power to achieve a desired performance. So right now we have a certain power setting with a certain pitch setting, which equals a certain change in altitude and, and a certain airspeed. Okay? So go ahead and reduce your power. Just, I don't know, a little bit till your ears hear the difference, but keep the pitch the same. And let's see what changes. Okay, so you increase power, which is fine. Go ahead, increase power a little bit more.